everyone, it's Noelle K. Goldie Longlocks, and today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful braided updo. This look was actually requested by one of you guys after Cesar De Leon Ramirez, who's one of the hottest celeb hairstylists for many, including the Kardashians, etc. But he created this look for Shay Mitchell, and it was absolute fire, so I had to recreate it. These were the two images I could find online for reference, so keep on watching if you want to know how to get this look. So all we'll need for this look is some bobby pins and elastics, a clip or something to keep the hair out of the way, and lastly, since Shay's braids have a lot of volume and texture, I'm using this Kenmer Platinum Texturizing Taffy, which works really well. So let's go ahead and start with the deep part. I'm going to make mine on the right side just like this. Create another part that goes from the back of the white line to the other ear and clip the hair back. Grab a little dollop of the Kenner Taffy and work it through that piece of hair. Then go ahead and grab a small section right next to the part and we're going to do a Dutch braid. So split the hair into three pieces, take the back strand under the middle and then the front strand under the middle. And then you're going to grab a new section of hair just like that, combine the strand with the closest to the back of the head and once again back strand under the middle and then front strand under the middle. So note here, we're only adding hair to one side each time, which is the back strand of hair, and that will keep the braid as far forward on the forehead as possible, just like Shay wears it. So I like to grab a little bit of taffy and work it through the strands as I go for that extra texture and hold all the way down. So again, we'll grab a new section of hair, combine it with the back strand, then the back strand under the middle, front strand under the middle. Again, grab some more taffy, working it through, and combine that new piece of hair with the back strand. Cross the back under the middle, then the front under the middle. As you go down, you can pull the braid strands out to create a bigger, more full braid. And this is where the Kenra taffy will really help give that hold and texture to the pieces you're tugging on or pancaking. And ladies with thin hair, it's really important to use some sort of texture spray, balm, or taffy, or getting this look is really gonna be challenging. So make sure you, you're using some sort of product. So our first braid is complete. You can go ahead and tie that off and let down the rest of your hair. Now we'll start on braid two. So you're gonna create a diagonal part from the middle nape of your neck up to your right ear. Now the trick here is you wanna leave a top layer of hair out and that will become your bun. So you kinda of have to play with it, poof it up, make sure that the layer of hair is thick enough for a bun and it will cover the hair properly. And that part doesn't have to be perfect because the top layer of hair will cover it up eventually. So we'll clip up the hair and we're gonna do the same Dutch braid that we did up on top. So section off a strand of hair, split it into three different sections. And you're gonna cross the top left section under the middle, and then you're gonna take the right section under the middle. We'll grab a new section of hair diagonally up and forward, add it to the left strand closest to the head, and cross that strand under the middle, and then right under the middle. So I'll just speed it up a little bit here to a better angle. All right, so you can see I grab a new piece of hair up and diagonally. I'll turn here so you can see how I add that piece of hair to the left strand closer to my head, take it under the middle, then take the right strand under the middle. And make sure you're pulling tight as you go so the braid stays very close to your head. All right, so I'll show you one more time slowly here. Add a new piece of hair, cross the left strand under, and then the right strand under. So you'll take this all the way up until you run out of hair to add and then finish with just a normal braid. Keep pulling tight. So at the end, we can put an elastic band on the braid and start pancaking and tugging on the strands. So I only tug on the strands above my ears so the lower braid stays really tight to my head. But this pulling is what really makes the look, so don't be afraid of it. You can go ahead and let down your hair and secure the back braid with a bobby pin. Then do the same with the front braid just for a second. At this point, I have to take a minute to point out how cute this look would be with your hair down. You can totally curl or straighten the back and it would be so glam. But back to Shay's way, you can let down your front braid here and we'll make a nice, simple, easy bun to create a beautiful updo. So smooth out your hair, use your right hand to hold the pony while your left hand wraps up and around, and then continue wrapping until you run out of hair. I like to secure the bun with one clear elastic placed around it, just in case, and then use some bobby pins. Now, let's take the front braid and wrap it around the bun, finally pinning it right into place, just like so. I'll put some final touches on the braids to make them look as big as possible, and then I'll pull out the wispies to make the look more soft and messy, like Shay's. Last optional part is curling your front hairs, and I think that makes the style so much more polished, so I would definitely suggest it. 
And just like that, Shay and I are twinning. Here's the completed look. I absolutely love it. This love style was so, so fun to recreate. So what do you guys wanna see next? Give me some requests in the comments below and I'll try it out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then show me some love and hit the subscribe button below. Oh, and a new Goldie Talks related to anxiety will be up later this week, so come play. Love to all my locks lovers out there. Thanks for watching, guys.